Canadian sports fans, welcome to Sportsman Up here on this Monday night, March 23rd, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. Let's start off at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York here, where the Boston Celtics squared off against the Brooklyn Nets, trying to recover from that disappointing overtime loss to the Detroit Pistons here as the Boston Celtics went in in the first quarter. Trailing the Brooklyn Nets 28-23, but a good first half here. And then in the second quarter, Celtics turned it around with a 31-21 second quarter. Advantage as they went in the halftime break with a five-point lead in own at 54-49 here. And it started, Celtics started to pull away in the third quarter as the Celtics played very well with good ball handling, good offense, and still a defense. The Celtics went in the three quarters lead in it. 83-2. Seventy-four, and the Celtics pulled away in the fourth quarter with a good teamwork effort by the Celtics as they defeat the Brooklyn Nets at the Barclays Center, one hundred and ten and ninety-one. As now they improved their record to thirty-one and thirty-nine here. As Avery Bradley twenty points in the win for the Celtics, while Brooke Lopez thirty-one points in the loss for the Nets. Here, as next up for the Celtics, they will be. Back to the garden on Wednesday night for a date with a mommy here. Okay, other scores around the NBA. Houston did the Celtics a favor by defeating the Indiana Pacers 110-100 beyond. James Harden's 44 points and 7 assists here. 316 left in the fourth quarter. Memphis Grizzlies lead the New York Knickerbockers at Madison Square Garden 95-71-9. As Zach Randolph's got 21 points and 5 assists so far for the Memphis Grizzlies here. 114 left in the third quarter. Chicago Bulls lead in the Shock Bobcats. 7164 beyond Paul Gasol. Chicago Bulls lead the Shock Hornets. 7164 beyond Paul Gasol's 22 points. As if the Hornets could lose, then the Celtics will have a half game lead on the Hornets in the final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference here. Utah Jazz leading the Minnesota Timberwolves. 33 to 28 with 645 left in the second quarter here. And Gold State Warriors, Washington Wizards will get underway by 10.30 p.m. out of the Bay Area, which is 7.30 p.m. their time. <laughs> Benson back from that disappointing loss to the Pistons by beating the Nets tonight. All right, NHL scores in this Monday night here. Minnesota Wild leading the Toronto Maple Leafs 1 0 with 12 15 left in the third period here. San Jose Sharks and Ottawa Senators tied two to two pieces. If the Ottawa Senators win, then the Bruins will drop out of the playoffs spot for now here. As the Bruins are hoping that San Jose lose, as the Bruins need to try to buckle down and Focus on getting that final playoffs wildcard spot in the Eastern Conference here. With 11 44, 11 in the second period, down stars, Buffalo Sabres 1 1 the score here. And through one period out in Calgary, Calgary Flames lead the Cairo Avalanche 2 to 1 here. And with 14 11 left in the first period, Epton Oilers and Winnipeg Jets no score. Los Angeles Kings over the New Jersey Devils 3 to 1. And the Chicago Blackhawks over the Carolina Hurricanes 3 to 1. All right, let's take a look. At some college basketball scores here. First of all, in the NIT. In the second round here. Old Dominion leading Illinois State 46-44 with 229 left in the second half here. Murray State leading Tulsa 39-27 with 115 left in the first half. And Louisiana Tech defeating Texas A&M. 84 to 72 in the CBI with 532 11 in the second half in the quarterfinal. Loyal Illinois leading Oral Roberts 67 to 56. Vermont leading Radford and winning it 78 to 71. And UL Monroe eking out a winner with Mercer 71 to 69. And Cairo and Seattle University get underway about 10 o'clock. CIT tournament in the second round. Evansville leading Eastern Illinois 81 to 67. Texas AM 61. Kent State 57 with 
3.34 left in the second half. And NJRT defeating Cleveland State, 80-77. And it's the IT second round. Okay, and the NCAA Women's Championship Albany Regional second round at Stores Connecticut Air. Connecticut leading Rutgers 51-31 at halftime. Louisville. Leading South Florida, 26 to 21, with 141 left in the first half of that. NCAA Women's Championship Albany Regional, second round. Attempt for Florida, 301 left in the first half. It talked to a little about 24. Arizona State, 13 in the NCAA Women's Championship Green Spur Regional, second round. At Tempe, Arizona Air. Florida State defeating Florida Gulf Coast University, 65 to 47. Maryland ends the Princeton's unbeaten season with an 85-70 win. Tennessee over Pittsburgh, 77-67. And the NCAA Women's Championship Regional at Knoxville, Tennessee. Stanford, 86. Oklahoma, 76. And the NCAA Women's Championship Oklahoma City Regional second round. And North Carolina over Ohio State, 86-84. Okay, looking at the Major League Baseball scoreboard here on this Monday night here, the Major League Baseball Spring Training scoreboard here. Top of the third, Texas Rangers leading the Cincinnati Reds, 2 to nothing here. Atlanta Braves over the Houston Astros, 14 to 10. Philadelphia Phillies blink the Minnesota Twins, 3 to nothing. New York Mets thump the Miami Marlins, 12 to 3. Washington Nationals over the New York Yankees, 7 to 6. Pittsburgh Pirates over the Tampa Bay Rays, 7 to 6. Los Angeles Dodgers over the Arizona Diamondbacks, 7-4. San Diego Padres over the Chicago White Sox, 10-4. San Francisco Giants over the Kansas City Royals, 8-3. Cl Cleveland Indians over the Oakland Athletics, 8-3. Cairo Rockies over the Milwaukee Brewers, 5-1. Los Angeles Angels blank the Seattle Mariners, 5-0. And the Boston Red Sox, St. Louis Blue Cardinals game got rained out. Alright, looking at some sports news here. On this Monday night, at the conclusion of Monday's meeting of the NFL owners, the league announced that 14 clubs have been awarded 32 supplemental draft picks for the 2015 NFL draft. In Columbus, Ohio, the fall of the has been unable to unnerve Kentucky this season. Luck, divine intervention, and the blowing pressure of a 36 nothing 36 and 0 mark that grows greater than the deeper the top seed Wildcats and vents into the North Carolina State. In Los Angeles, the former NFL star, Darren Chopper, pleaded no contest on Monday to drug and, and raping two women in Los Angeles as part of a broader plea deal. In four states, will send him to prison for nine years. The NFL saying, bye-bye to blackouts at least for the 2015. No NFL games will be blocked from local television next season, the league said Monday at the owners' meeting in Phoenix. Also in Phoenix, Adrian Peterson's agent spent an hour holding court Monday on the lobby of the Swanky Hotel, where NFL owners are gathered this week, but Ben Duggar won't allow just one comment for the record. I bet so do New York Jets owner Woody Johnson spoke at the NFL owners meeting in Arizona. Monday at the last time he spoke at the length of the eventual temper in charge against the organization they're talking about Daryl Weavis who was under contract. State officials are turning their outside experts to advice on Boston's bid to host the 2024 Summer Olympic Games. Dirk Nowitzki and Steve Nash are close friends. They, they're playing days together at Dallas Mavericks, which is good because they two were pals. Nash probably would have appreciated the Nutwitzkis. Very excited comments about him and us. Cavs had the day off on Monday, but Kevin Love was out in full force promoted. As Kevin Love opens up on Cavs' camaraderie and feelings on the Cleveland Cavaliers. The NFL often reacts to controversial calls by changing the underlying rule. In response to one of the most controversial calls of the 2014 season, the NFL may be reacting by changing the underlying rule without actually changing the underlying rule. The first two rounds years in CAA men's basketball tournament had several games that were decided by the last shot, uh, a couple of cases, the whistle of the referee, which by being upset by the way they were seated. 
Jimmy Butler will be started Monday as Butler's first appearance in 12 games by Chicago Bulls as Venom come past the Hunt for that threat, Gross Knee, and Drucking Nora. General Soreness waits them for the Bulls. L Little League World Series pitching star, Money Davis says a cow. Let's buy a ball player advantage from his team after insulted her on Twitter. Deserves a second chance. Rafael Nadal will start his bid to win a third Wimbledon title bar, returning to the grass court tournament at Queen's Club later this year. Glendale, Arizona. Arizona Diamondbacks manager Chip Bale, bench coach Glenn Shellock, and two Arizona pitchers were ejected from the game with the Los Angeles Dodgers on Monday that featured four hit batsmen in Phoenix, Arizona. Extra points are not going away. Nobody's made that proposal, said Rich B.K., President of Falcons and Chairman NFL's Competition Committee at the league meeting on Monday. And that's going to be it for Sports Man here on this Monday night. March 23rd, 2015, Pure. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.